The name of the exhibition is Social Forces Visualized, and it's located at the Wallet Gallery. When these photographs were originally produced, they were actually produced primarily as scientific documents to be included in journals whose main audience was a professional audience, who was both studying the effects of social work and how to more effectively carry social work out within poor communities, especially in the New York City area. And so that would have been uh, at the turn of the 19th and 20th century. Huff and I initially discovered the collection during a seminar here at Columbia. Um, and while um, the collection or specific photographs or projects had definitely been written about in um, scholarship in the history of photography or American studies, um, we were a bit surprised to find out that the collection was actually right here at Columbia. They identified the photographs and the materials in the collection that were most interesting to them and we helped them get access to them and pull them out of the collections. And then we worked with them and with our conservation group and our digitization group both to create the physical cradles that the collections would sit in in the exhibit and the frames around them and to digitize and scan and present digitally some of the some of the pieces of the collection at the exhibit um, and then we moved it over to the Wallach Art Gallery and it's going to be on display for a while and, and then we'll bring it back. The collection uh, I believe is so notable partially because of the photographers who are within it. Jacob Rees, Louis Hine, Jesse Tarbuck Spiels. Uh, these are some of the earliest and most well-known uh, American social documentary photographers. Um, and then the second reason is really the organizations uh, themselves. So the Charity Organization Society and the Association for Improving the Condition of the Poor uh, had a huge impact on uh, the development of social work, welfare, and uh, Columbia University as well. The origins of Columbia's School of Social Work actually start with the precursors of Community Service Society where they were training what were in effect social workers in New York City and the School of Social Work evolved out of that work that CSS did. What we tried to do with the exhibition uh, was to restore the photographs to their original context. Uh, and while I, I think that many of them are quite moving and aesthetically uh, beautiful images, um, I think that it's, it's possible to simultaneously see them uh, within their original context and see them either as uh, social documents um, recording uh, conditions at the turn of the century and even documents that were meant to in some way instigate social change. If you're interested in the history of New York City, this is a really incredible opportunity to see what life was like uh, in places like the Lower East Side at the turn of the century. If you were someone who is interested in the history of social work, that this is a real glimpse into way these, the way these institutions functioned um, and the kinds of publicity materials and images that they used.